I'm here at the Centro Estoriano Memorial Park in Tampa. I'm standing at the final resting place of First Lieutenant U.S. Marine Corps Baldomero Lopez, Medal of Honor one. I have to say I'm happy to see that somebody else came here probably yesterday and planted flags as well and even laid a small medal of sorts here in his honor and um, uh, it makes me real happy. I just want to say that I came here because I've known about this man for a long time. Thought about him a lot. Thought about the sacrifice that he made for our nation. <clears throat> so I came here for a couple reasons. For myself, just to, to pay my respects, but also to say to the people who feel like someone of Spanish heritage didn't do anything to serve this nation. Nothing could be further from the truth. And to the other side, there's people who might say that people of Spanish heritage or any other heritage weren't honored and respected. This man went to the Naval Academy and he also received the Congressional Medal of Honor. So his life means something to all of us. And I want to say also, especially at this time when we're quite close to maybe getting some payback for Lieutenant Lopez and for others like him for the war they fought. And I just ask, please, for those of you who keep getting your backs up and want to say that our president is just grandstanding and messing around trying to win some kind of Nobel Prize, stand down just on this one. If you guys want to beat your drums and dance around the fire and howl at the moon over anything else, go ahead, I don't care. But on this one, you let the man denuclearize the peninsula that Lieutenant Baldomero Lopez fought and died for and for us. As an American, I'm asking you, next to his resting place is that of his father. You can see he passed away just three years later at the age of probably 56, younger than me, he passed away. Why? My guess is he died of a broken heart. And the death of a soldier doesn't end with his resting place. It ends with all those who came after him and before him, including us. So I ask again, for Baldomero Lopez, for his father, for his mother, and for all of us. Stand down and let our president do his job. I don't think he has anything to gain more than what he already has. But I think it's time for Baldomero Lopez, for his family, for everyone like him to get their what they deserve in this. I want to try to say something in Spanish. I know that Baldomero Lopez was born here in Tampa, went to the same school as my son, now the same age as he was when he died. I'm sure he spoke English. I know he did, but I'm also sure he spoke Spanish as, as well. So here I'm going to try. Teniente Baldomero Lopez. 
Dios te bendiga. A mi compatriota, mi amigo que nunca conocí, mi héroe. Gracias por su servicio a nuestra gran nación. Gracias al más por el precio que pago y el sacrificio que hizo. Excepto mi promesa de que no serás olvidado y tu nombre será pronunciado con honor y respeto. Descansa en paz de la mano de Dios. I guess that's all I have to say. I hope I hope he gets what he deserves and soon.